There are 252,000 churches in America that average below 100 people on any given Sunday. That's nearly 60% of all the churches in our country. Oftentimes I'm asked by pastors, Todd, how can I break the 100 mark? How can I break the 100 barrier? Now that is a legitimate question. However, it may not be the right question. I think we need to answer this question. Why isn't our church over the 100 mark? Why can't we get beyond the 100 barrier? And the answer to this question is simple, not complex at all. In fact, I believe it is so simple that we often ignore it. And the answer is this, infrastructure. You see, infrastructure determines the size of your church. Let me explain. Let's say that this is your church, and let's say you're running 70, or perhaps you're running 80 in attendance and you want to get to the 100 mark, or you've been at 90 for some time and you want to break the 100 mark. And there you are, and you're trying to get beyond that 100 bear, that huge wall. The infrastructure of your church will determine the size of your church. Now this is a bowl, but let's say this is the infrastructure of your church. Now we're not talking about the capacity of the building, we're talking about your capacity to minister to people. People come to your church and they love your church and they enjoy the preaching and they enjoy the music, they enjoy the ministries that you have. And people keep coming and guests keep coming and people keep joining your church and having a good time. But there's going to come a time when the infrastructure is not able to accommodate all the new people. And what's going to happen eventually is there's going to be what we would say a cascading or a falling away and people will slip outside. They'll slip through the back door. We've all heard it said before that the back door sometimes is larger than the front door. And what makes that possible is because the infrastructure is not in place to accommodate all the new people. Now, uh, what we want you to do is to understand if you want to go to the next level, let's say you want to go to the 125 mark, well, you have to enlarge your infrastructure so that you can accommodate more people. So let me get, illustrate it one more time. Now, you have in place not only the people that you always have ministered to, but now you're able to uh, minister to and to accommodate all the new people because you have a larger infrastructure and they are not falling off the sides. Now, what will eventually happen is this. You're going to get to the point where your infrastructure for 125 is not large enough to get you to 150 or 175. We constantly have to enlarge our infrastructure if we're going to break through the barriers. Now, many people ask me, Todd, what is infrastructure? Well, let's go to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. And infrastructure is basically the basic structures uh, roads and bridges that allow your country, region, or organization to function properly. Now what does that mean for a church? Well, there are things in the church. There needs to be the right infrastructure, the right roads, the right bridges, the right processes, the right systems that allow you to minister to people and to reach new people and to keep the people that you are reaching. And without the right systems and processes and procedures in place, without the right infrastructure, your church will never break beyond the 100 mark. Now here are a few thoughts that I want to interject at this point before we talk further about infrastructure. We have been led to believe that good preaching and good music will grow your church. And that is true to a certain extent. But guys, don't we all know people that have great preaching at their church and great music and yet their church is still small and they're unable to break the 100 barrier? Again, infrastructure will determine the size of your church. You as a pastor or leaders, you are constantly having people come to your church, visit your church, people getting born again at your altars. But you look up two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, three months down the road and where are those people? 
they have slipped through the cracks and they have made their way out the back door and oftentimes without us even noticing. Well, that's not a preaching problem. That's not a worship problem. It's an infrastructure problem. And so what we want to do, we want to help you put the right infrastructure in place so that you can reach and keep the people that you are reaching. Now, very important for you to understand a couple of examples. There's a friend of mine in San Antonio, Texas, that he was running about 80 people when he started uh, our process, the canal process, and working with him on his infrastructure. And within a few short months, I believe it was around seven to eight months, he jumped from 80 to 110 to 120. Whereas for a few years, he was stuck below the 80 mark, unable to get beyond the 80 bear, much less the 100 bear. But because he focused on the infrastructure, his preaching didn't change, he didn't water down the message, the music was just like as good as it was ever, and yet he focused on the infrastructure and his church soared to the 120 mark. I have a friend in Indiana that for three years they were stuck between that 50 to 60 mark. They would hit 62, drop down to 48. Then it hit 55, drop down to 50. But they could never seem to get beyond the 65 to 70 mark consistently. Well, we started working with him, and within six months, his church went from 55 to 110 in six months. Why? It's not because the preaching changed. It's not because the worship changed, but they began to focus focus on the infrastructure, narrowing the gap of the back door. And this is what we do at Kanea. We are infrastructure builders, and we work with any church, any size, helping them to break through their barriers. And so we want you to go right now, check out our website, kaneoresources.com, kaneoresources.com, that's K-I-N-E-O resources.com. Check it out, look at the testimonies, and uh, call us, email us, and we would love to help you break through the 100 barrier. Remember, infrastructure determines the size of your church.